Hey YouTube, this is Darren from Rogue Aquariums here at Reefstock 2018. I'm here with uh, Tulio de la Cula from Reefbrite. What's going on guys? <laughs> Tulio, can you tell us a little bit about your, your metal halides that are out? Obviously they've been out for a few years now, but can you tell us about the smaller pendants that you've actually, that you've built and you have on display right now? One of the one of the exciting things about the new halide systems is mm -hmm. their efficiency. Right. Watt for watt, they use the same amount of power as an equivalent LED system. Right. So we've improved the efficiency of the ballast. Mm -hmm. We've even improved the efficiency in terms of transfer of energy from power to your bulb emitting, you know, what I would call the optical energy. Right, right. That's the key to that conversion mm -hmm. there. Um, the other thing is, is it, it's just hard to get halides for a lot of your system. For you your know, growth of your yeah, different for corals, right. And different support. Exactly. They, in my opinion, they just have a better spectral composition, a broader spectral composition than many other light sources. Including LEDs and, right. Well, LEDs are good. You can Correct. Keep, you know, you can successfully keep tanks with LEDs and T5s and, you know, mm -hmm. all these different combinations. Halides have just been a tried and true, you know, they've been a tried and true solution correct, correct. in our industry for decades. Now what size do you make these in, these uh, these metal halides here? We make these up to 400 watts. Okay. So you got, one, you got 150, 175, 250, and 400 watts. Correct. All of the pendants are rated to 400 watts. So if you bought a smaller halide system and wanted to upgrade someday, you just get the appropriate ballast and lamp. Right, right. You don't have to buy a new fixture or system. And you recommend these for tanks of probably your cube tanks of 120 and on up to your very large systems, you know, 90, correct? 90 gallons, 120s. We've had people use a single fixture successfully on like 90 cubes. Okay. You know, so so yeah, those those larger type setups, they, they work fantastic for because again, it's not that LEDs aren't a good option or solution either. Right. But for a larger tank, when you start adding up how many individual LED fixtures you need to cover the tank. And get expensive. You're going to use the same power, right. and it gets expensive. Correct, correct. Now, you and I talked about earlier on this large grill that I plan on doing later on this year. How many pendants do you recommend me going with in conjunction with the eight-foot blue attenix I've got for some extra color on the ends of my, my tank? Because of the design of your tank, meaning the openings, right. where your openings are and everything else, um, you're probably better off going with four smaller wattage pendants, say 175 watt. Right. This way it'll give you the coverage in the tank, but you still have what I call that aggregate energy. Correct. Because you'll have in grand total, well, three, you'll have 700 watts. We're still going to provide me a, quite the large spread exactly. because my tank is four you'll feet get the wide. Penetration and you right, get the spread, the right. spread as well. Okay. Anyway, you guys, if you haven't taken a look at this booth, come talk to Tulio here. He's a plethora of information. He's got some great lighting. I'm using his lights right now, and uh, I've got some good growth out of my corals. Anyway, guys, enjoy the show. Take care.